Hello, YouTubers, hello, subscribers. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful evening. So, no earrings tonight. <laughs> this is, so, I posted a video and it had glitches. First, it had, it was stuck. And I was like, oh my God, a snow movie. And then, um, um, then I was, Saying, telling my husband, oh my God, like, why is Karen here or something like that? And then you guys were on pause and everything. And I was like, this is ugly. And I was like, and did I talk to Eric like that? Was he? And then I said, oh, he was asleep, he was asleep. And then I was like, but no, the video shows that I did. And so I watched the video and I ran in there. I said, honey, I was really nasty to you on video. And I was like, come look, I am so sorry. Please forgive me. I said, I didn't mean to. I said, I honestly, when I said that I thought you were asleep, he said, I wasn't asleep. I said, you wasn't. <laughs> you wasn't asleep. You let her come in there on purpose? Me and my daughter, because I say, honey, keep her, because I'm going to go do my video. I'll be back. I'm, you know, that's what I usually say, honey, I'm going to go do a video. I'll be back. And he says, okay, I'll keep her. But then he opens the door and let her in and all this other stuff. So, But I was apologizing. And then I was going to apologize, too, because I was like, I don't, like, I shouldn't have been, like, nasty. I felt like I was, so. But then, now I don't feel it anymore because he did it on purpose. <laughs> no, I love him. And I told him, he can come defend himself. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I told him twice. <laughs> he sucks. I love him. But, you know, I love my husband. He is so awesome. And it's funny because... Today, when I was did a video, he had did something so special, and I was like, just in the middle of, in the middle of my video, I was like, I love my husband. He's the best husband ever. And so, and he works at home. So then I run and go and give him a kiss, and I try to get in lunch for him. I need to be better. Moving on, Megan Mark. Karma has slapped. It's been to do something really dangerous to her. She has messed up. She has taken her fame, her Hollywoodness, her everything, and this mm -mm, no. No one's going to be waking up every morning to her and her shenanigans every morning talking stupid and lying. And nine, now lying on New York City. That's what I call it. Lying on New York City. Because you can't tell me the mayor was happy. The story is, is that Megan was in this chase, two hour chase in Manhattan after she accepted this award from this speech. But before they go in, you see cameras everywhere, snapping at all of them getting out the car. Harry doesn't look the rest. He didn't look like he was going through anything. He looked like he was doing just fine. And you know, faking it, faking like they were a couple and, you know, he's just a puppet and hoping that she won't ever let him go. If Harry was so scared of the lights and the glitz and the ch -ch -ch -ch, why would he let his wife convince him to come to Hollywood? 
for her brand. Because this is what WME is all about, building her brand. Was it up to them for her to stage this incident and use Harry's mother as some type of just disrespect at every level? Why the queen had called Megan mad and evil. Evil. But I like what the queen said about recollections made very. Here we go again. This woman lets off a firestorm. Of, are they okay? And two hour chase. Jumping on the sidewalk. Two pedestrians, two. <coughs> and a ring, a ring, a ring, a ring of paparazzi. That would scare me. But the thing is, is that, like people said, You were inconvenienced. But you were inconvenienced for no two hours. And you weren't being chased up inside Manhattan. But that's what you said. And your spokesperson is coming out with the most stupidest, stupidest stuff. No one's listening to him. <laughs> oh, no. He can talk all day long. They're doing an investigation because we want to know. And so far, I'm getting my receipts. Everyone's looking at her record. They're pulling up the docu series. They're pulling up Oprah Winfrey. They're pulling up Spear. They're pulling. They're pulling. They're pulling up Megan's wolves. The stuff she cries out and about. Her story, trying to get content, really? Would she stoop that low and put this in there? They're desperate for money. And that means that she needs this. Obviously, to continue, because she's not making money off of her brand. Is she? What if she made off of her brand what's keeping her and Harry in Montecito? Netflix? Is it time for the series? Is it time? Some, that would just be sick. Sick. Because before, when they were talking, this is why they probably show parallels to Megan's docu series where they were showing us the Harry Potter, the Harry Potter, <laughs> the Harry Potter um, premiere, the model walking home from something that happened to her, and then also Michael Cohen's case. She used those photos, and then she pretended like she was in a car being followed, and at the time she was being followed, she started explaining to Harry what they were going to do in the garage. In the docu-series, they're sitting in the back of the seat. I was over there at the grifters today. I probably said this earlier, but this tripped me out. That <laughs> She's in the taxi. They're in New York City during that weekend of her in the white dress, reading the book, bench, with all that jewelry and stuff on. All this going to come back. Listen, I don't care what the news outlet think that they're going to put out. We want the truth. So if you're going to put some bogus stuff out there about Megan was being chased two hours, and then not tell us what's really going on. We're going to go to the real news. <laughs> and then guess what? 
the entertainment people start. I don't know. I don't know how it works, but people are getting on board. There's something wrong with this whole scene. I'm skipping. I'm sorry. If if Harry is scared or whoever is scared of the paparazzi and flashing lights, I'm just saying, then why would you get a profession doing that? Why would you go get it? Why would you go to New York, one of the most lit up cities where everything is happening because you want to be seen you want to get your award she got up there and started talking about herself and how wonderful she was and how when she was little she was an, um, a feminist and now that she's an adult she's an activist and how we can be just like her <laughs> And do the same thing if we work hard. She insults us. Only if you listen to it. But then, she's got doormat, doorbell accessory, Harry. I'm serious. Harry has lost all all due respect. All respect. All of it. Watch how C S and L in South Park eat them up. Someone is. <laughs> I would. <laughs> Yeah, they need to show the whole SNL need to do it. Bring it. Because you know that that didn't make sense. And guess who else is going to put it on? It's going to be on the news too. But why would Harry's wife put her husband in a situation where she knows that cameras, lights, and action is too much for him? And if they want all their privacy, then why, why all the, why all this? This isn't privacy. Privacy is not talking about this. Privacy is saying, you know what? No one was hurt. We're good. And that jumping in taxis and stuff, that's Megan being an idiot. <laughs> and everybody listening. The security guard, her mother. Harry, he's a dean bat. <laughs> and the security going to do what she say because that's his job. But he looks like an idiot now because they're, they're questioning his integrity. <laughs> Why would you take them if they were in a threat? Megan said they were in a threat. It was a, their lives were in a threat. <laughs> this is. They were chased for two hours. Two whole hours. Who? On oh my one video, I was saying, what? What person? You don't even have. What person would ride around for two hours in a car? I I would be like, who? Even if it was just little old me. Someone following me for two hours. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But they were following her, taking her picture. I believe thinking that they were going to dinner. But besides that, if you didn't want your picture taken, what are you doing down there? Accepting crap and giving stem speeches. 
on something. Now everybody knows you bought the award. Because everybody now is trying to figure out what the hell the award was for. And why did you get it? On, on behalf of what did you do? <laughs> Here's the thing. There's going to be a come a time when I'm going to start feeling sorry. I feel it. I do. This is the defining moment. She has lied to all of us. <laughs> In my opinion. Why, why, the, why, this, why the exaggeration of the story? And if your husband can't handle lights, camera, and action, why do you have him in there? Listen. Eric is not too fond of heights. And when we were on a boat getting married, I made sure he had his trimamine. And I only need it the first day. Just for the... And I know I said heights, but the boat was up there, too. And I think the C2 was like that. But if she knows that her husband gets traumatized, why would she go into a profession? And why would she surround him with the things that scares the hell out of him? I don't think it's true. I think that it's all a lie. Harry walks in with her. Camera is going there. He was okay. Looking her, looking at her lustfully, wanting us to believe that they're in love. Harry, you are a mechanic machine now. That's all people say. that's what I see. He is mm -mm. He has all logic has left him. And I think he's just playing his role. <laughs> she, then you find out that, the, oh. <laughs> I'm not even going to say his name. I'm just going to just say her. So Megan is upset. With the royal family, okay? Neil Sean says it's all a lie. That King Charles, William, or Catherine didn't call to check on them. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. So, I don't know what I was just saying, so let's move on. But listen, you're going to see a lot of, uh, of me. So, yeah, you may see a lot of me doing a lot more videos. And I'm going to try, try to do them all at once. But um, I came on tonight because of that on <laughs> me and my husband, but I also wanted to just let you know that I believe making is in some trouble. I do. I really do. I think reporters, everyone, and TMZ with their, their the first run in it, they really messed that up. And because they believed it. And it's weird that they believed it because they're TMZ. They know everything there is to know. But they also know about the paparazzi too. But two hours? Come on. Nobody's doing that. Nobody's just stupid. So what make them want us to know that the royal family hasn't reached out to them? Should they have? How do you know that they didn't call and make sure and just say, oh, okay, that's what happened. Okay. And then it was like, it was the timing. Because, I'm not saying his name, said that it was 
they didn't get a call two hours within the time frame of when it happened. In other words, he made it seem like they didn't in contact him at all. And Neil Sean was correcting it and saying that Obi Scoby, that King Charles is concerned about Harry. He is concerned about his son. I'm sure more so now than ever. Like he has told Harry, don't make my days hard. What is Harry doing? <laughs> He's got eight. I'm going to give him eight. I'm giving him eight court cases because he needs to add this one on there. Mm -hmm. Because I think that false alarms need to be considered. A, it, it, I thought that was considered a crime. Because the Jesse Smollett thing, they ran it to the ground. You can't escape that story. And so, why is this story different? She the one stuff was saying that people were jumping curbs and doing all this other stuff. And then the spokesperson going to try to say their state still shaking up. We, oh, oh, okay. So it's a few other people from the from the lies and deception. This girl is crazy, guys, and I think she's living in some type of um, movie. Is she was expecting the royal family to call her? She wanted the royal family to call her. I don't believe they did. I'm going to leave that one alone. I'm going to, I believe that what Neil Sean said, that his father is concerned. I do believe that. And I do believe that William was concerned too. But he also know that he's dealing with a crazy woman. And that any manipulative thing could happen. It's almost like, Hello, America. Is anyone home? Are you guys not seeing it now? Like, you really need us to break it down further? That something is wrong with this woman going around blaming people? Destroying homes? She kicked her father to the curb. Has she? Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. My question is, Megan, when your father called to check on you and Harry to see if you guys were okay during this big ordeal that you almost had, did you answer the phone on him? Did you answer the phone when your dad tried to call you? Meaning, have you reached out to him since he asked you two, because that's, I didn't get anything negative from Mr. Markle asking his daughter to call. What's embarrassing is that she hasn't reached out. And WME, good luck. And I, let me say this to them. <laughs> They're either going to drop her or they're going to look like because if this is the advice that they that they are giving her, this what is different from the shenanigans that she hasn't been doing the whole time? The Oprah show, come on, guys. Meet me on the Oprah show. Meet me on the Oprah show. lied and said the royal family was racist on a conversation that Harry had with his family before they were married. <laughs> and that meant they were racist. Has any of that panned out? You ask. Did the kids get the titles? She said they wasn't going to get the titles because 
there was a problem with the skin color. Uh huh. Ask Oprah to release the video. But you don't even need that. They got clips. They got clips of the racism part. Then you see Gail <laughs> and um, Oprah digging in the next day. This is sick. Hmm. So beautiful. I like it all the way. I, I need a few more, but I like this. <laughs> um, no, this is what we talked about. And she disses her father, but she wants someone else's father to call her and check on him. Wow, convenient. The damsel in distress. She almost died last night. Stop that BS. Did she or did she not almost die? Mayor. And if you don't know, we need answers. Because that stupid stuff that she wrote was from her. And where are the two pedestrians? Where are they? Dan, come on. Cameras everywhere, everywhere. There were some witnesses. What street was that? <laughs> Stop. Stop allowing this woman to just wreak havoc and just do whatever she feels when she gets ready to to make a change first i said well maybe she just wants some attention on the award but why would you get this kind of attention on an award you don't want to do that it'll take away from the award it did for me until i heard that speech <laughs> man All of a sudden, Harry can't take the lights. He's got the camera going. Do you guys really think that they would stoop this level and create a another part of Netflix? No. <laughs> then it'll happen. You know what? That same thing happened earlier to me. I was like, do you think she was trying to get King Charles and the family to be like, oh my God, is Megan okay? Is she, you know, what happened? And sure enough, Obi Scoby comes in a few hours and say it. I'm like, oh God, this stuff is coming true. Something's wrong with my upload. Like I'll post, I'll do a video. It'll take me six hours to upload it. And I'm like, that's no big deal. I'll get out there. But it just, I feel like I need to get on the phone. What's wrong with her, guys? It's got to be more than narcissistic. Who does this? Who does this for attention? Who does this for anything? I just don't get it. I don't get that you have a husband that literally is afraid of the paparazzi. He's shaking up. He may have to go and have counseling. Like, seriously. But she says that, oh my goodness, like, they are, um, they could have died. I wish she set off an alarm like that. I'm going to let you go. I know it's probably more that I wanted to say, but let me know your thoughts. This is, this is breaking news. This is, this is, this is as breaking as you're going to get it over here with her. Mm -hmm. In my mind. Because no one does that. You never hear a celebrity come out and say that they almost died. A celebrity don't want you to know that they almost died. Look at Jamie Foxx. And 
I heard that he was going to a rehabilitation center to recover. And I think it's awesome. I think it's awesome. And so she's in this fairy tale and still damsel in distress. And I know they have pictures of her smiling, but I didn't need a picture to show that Megan was lying. <laughs> no, it just the it just it just doesn't the two hour did it for me. Chase. Nope. Can't do that. <laughs> and the mayor said it. No, she's let off a firestorm that she gonna wish she never started because they were going to open her up. Watch what Trump say. We haven't even heard from him yet, or have we? But we go where says something, and everybody's coming forth and talking about you can't do that. Anymore. And so now everyone's looking at Megan and looking at her stories and saying they should be. Because like someone said, she's walking around with, she'll, she'll just walk around with this over their head. No, no, it's not going to be like that. <laughs> not here. A full report has to be done. A full report. This was not no incident. This was catastrophic. This was serious. Uh-huh. Big. It's not going away. And I will be talking about it. A lot. <laughs> so, if you don't want to hear it, that is what's going on over here. Her in New York City. Mm -hmm. Don't did she not know that they're gonna bring up that I would? Hmm. I don't know what the American media is waiting on. And I believe they've been giving her a break. But that ship has sailed because South Park and that was just a warning. And she didn't adhere to it. But you can't say you want privacy and you go out and, and accept an award on a red carpet event where there are going to be cameras everywhere. They have a section for media and paparazzi. They're there. How else are they going to get her picture? Hmm. 